Hey everyone, this is Marbozir and this is part 34 of Let's Play FTL Faster Than Light. So, I managed to unlock the Slug Cruiser, so that's what I'm going to start playing in this part. And I have to say, I'm not a huge fan of the Slug Cruiser, and one of the reasons for this is because they only start with two crew members, and the anti-bio beam is just a pretty bad weapon in early game. I mean, it doesn't do any damage to the ship, it only does damage to the crew, which would be fine combined with the crew teleport, for example, but I do not have a crew teleport. And if I use bio beam, I can't use one of these two other weapons, simply because I don't have enough weapon control. So I'm just not going to use anti-bio beam at all. And I'm probably just going to sell it at the first store I come across and try to replace it with a proper beam that does actual damage to everything. And I got boarded, like, right at the start. But yeah, I do need to get some different weapons, since I only have 15 missiles, so I can't rely on bridge bomb too much. Yeah, this is not a great start. And yeah, one of the reasons only two crew members sucks is that if I get boarded, I'm going to have a bad time. It's not too bad yet, getting boarded by one dude. But if I got boarded by two Mantis, for example, before I can upgrade my crew to free, then that's just going to be awful. Right, their weapons are down, so I'm not going to use Bridge Bomb for now, just to save it. I hope I can get a third crew member as soon as possible. The nice thing is that with the slugs, I can see where the enemy crew is, even without upgrading my sensors, since that's one of the special abilities of the slug race. So that's quite nice. Come on, shoot. And down he goes. Alright, onwards. Oh yeah, nice. I, sh I will be able to get uh, a new crew member from this dude. I just need to actually kill him first, obviously. I'm not using auto-fire simply because I'm just not a big fan of it. I like coordinating weapons to get the most out of them, and I just forget to turn off auto-fire too often. And what's the point of auto-fire if you are going to turn it off every time after you fire? Seems a bit counterproductive. Great. I'm taking a bit too much damage. Back to weapons. Yeah, I'm taking the extra crew member. Not what I wanted, but that's good enough. I would have preferred NG. But this dude will be useful as well, that's fine. And in fact, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to put him in weapons instead, although I already have 12 experience on this guy. Simply because he's too slow, so if I get boarded in my cockpit, for example, it's going to take him forever to get from one event one end of the ship to another. Nice. FTL recharge booster. Yeah, that speeds up uh, FTL drive by 25%. Not too bad. Might be useful in some situations. I need to find the store. I also still need to unlock the Crystal Cruiser, but that requires some serious luck. Which I've not had so far. And I did try. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, good start. Almost. Come on, hurry up with the Reapers. Yeah, I don't need their surrender, I need more scraps. So you're going down. I do need some better weapons, preferably before Sector 3. Dual lasers and bridge bomb is not going to cut it in the long run. Or even in the short run. <laughs> They are trying to charge up their engine, so I'm going to need to damage it a bit. So far so good. Few more shots and he's going down. Come on. And one more. Would be nice to actually get some weapon as a loot. That makes such a big difference in the game if you find a nice weapon as part of an event instead of having to buy it from the store. Hmm, I'm not a huge fan of this event, but I'm going to try it. Eight scraps and extra crew member. Well, that was worth it, I guess. So I'm sending this guy to the shields and let's move on. Want to buy a store? Oh, that's the spider event. I know this one all too well. And there's a store right here. Nice. I'm going to sell this anti-bio beam. Not a whole lot I can buy here. I could grab a Zoltan crew member. But I don't really want one, to be honest. I'm just going to save my money for now, I think. Yeah, I think I'm going to save my money. There should be another store at the start of Sector 2, or somewhere near it at least. So this isn't going too badly so far. Oh, great. I said that a bit too early. And I should be able to do one more system. Nothing here. Well, let's get out of here then. Onwards to Sector 2. One more fight. I'm probably just going to upgrade my shields to level 2 as well. If I get a chance to buy cloaking systems, I probably will do that as well. We'll see. The cloaking is just too damn good. 
Come on. Hit this time. There we go, finally. Almost. Back to go to the shields. I'm trying to save some missiles now, I'm only down to three. That's why I kind of need to find a store soon, with actual weapons for sale. Otherwise I'm going to have a bad time. Come on, too many misses. Hurry up. Any day now. One more hit. And he's going down. That was some nice scrams from that, wow. I think I'm going to upgrade my shields right now. Actually, I'm going to see what's at the start of the next sector first. There might be a store. Yep, there is a store indeed. Let's check it out then. Maybe it will have some nice weapons. It does have a burst laser mark one and <laughs> an anti-bio beam. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally going to buy that after I sold mine. So, I'm going to buy this burst laser. Which means I need one more weapon control and one more power bar. Or I could do it like this for now. I also need some more missiles. And I guess this is good enough. Let's continue then. Going through the nebula to slow down the rebels a bit. Yeah, this will be fun. I have absolutely no shields at the moment. It might be... No, I can't actually disable my engine to power up the shields, because I would need two power for that. Alright, that was good. I did get hit, but only once. I should be able to keep his weapons down now. I need to heal my pilot, but not right now. Six fuel, seven missiles and 13 scraps. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, seven missiles, I'm going to accept that. Okay. Just going to heal my pilot before I move on. Just in case. Alright, onwards. So now what I would like to get is a nice beam weapon. And I got boarded. That's not good. Nice shot. Yeah, I can't actually activate the medical bay because I can't draw power from anywhere. I could disable my engines, but I don't want to have 0% evasion. Going well so far. Ch -ch -ch -ch. 
Five missiles. Yeah, I'm going to accept that. And now I need to heal everyone. Yeah, I definitely need one more power bar. Onwards to more nebula systems. Once I get enough scrams, I'm going to upgrade my shields. I don't need to upgrade my shields before Sector 3. Or get a cloaking system before Sector 3 or at the start of Sector 3. Either way, my defenses right now are not enough. Nice. Yeah, I'm not going to bother repairing medical bay right now. I have 17 missiles, so that should be enough for a while. Yeah, I'm going to accept 24 missiles. Yeah, that will be enough for a while. If I do get a chance, I'm probably going to replace Bridge Bomb with something else though. But we'll see, Bridge Bomb is actually quite nice. I would prefer Ion Bomb instead. Okay, this will be interesting. And he has two shields, while I only have one. Not very pleasant. Well, one of his weapons is down. Nice, I got promotion on the weapon, dude. That will help a bit. And I should be fine now. Oh, it's the slavers. Yeah, obviously I'm not giving up my crew to slavers, are you crazy? I might be able to get extra crew member from this? Nice. Alright, so now this is a pretty nice crew. I was hoping to get NG or something like that, but this is fine as well. I should be fairly safe if I get boarded at least. There's a store up here. So let's get some more scraps before going there. This is actually a fairly nice weapon setup. I might just keep the bridge bomb and get something else in the fourth slot. Something that takes two or three power. Well, let's see what's in this store. Cloaking would be nice, but I just can't afford that at the moment. 
Even if I sell a lot of stuff, I can't afford the cloaking system. Shame. I'm just, I'm just going to repair myself, buy the fuel, buy the missiles, and that's about it. Let's move on. I can still do quite a few systems before rebels catch me. The next priority is going to be upgrading my shields, most likely. If I get some decent credits from the uh, fights remaining in this sector, I should be able to upgrade before Sector 3. I'll try not using the bridge bomb too much though. It's very, very easy to go down from 30 to 5. <laughs> oh, he got away. That's annoying. Oh well. I screwed that up a bit, but I guess that happens. So I can't really do much before the rebels catch me anymore. How annoying. Yeah, I screwed that up. I should have noticed he's trying to get away. Hmm, I could have done three more systems, but probably not anymore. Oh, I got boarded. Oh, it's the annoying Mantis. Yeah, because it's Mantis fighter, obviously. Oh, they are trying to get my pilot. Oh, no, you don't. Come on, give me some nice scrums. 19? No, that's not enough. Well, it is enough, but I need more power as well. I would need to drain almost everything. Yeah, I, I would have to not use the bridge bomb to use two shields. So I just need a bit more scraps to get one more power level. Well, that shouldn't be too hard. And let's move on. Not much else I can do here. I can only jump to the exit. Zoltan Homeworlds or Civilian Sector. I guess I can go for Zoltan Homeworlds. But that's going to happen in the next part. So I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.